Okay, Alexis, this is a comparison between your third to last jump, which I believe was the best jump of the day. This one was, uh, after I measured, I had it somewhere around 40 feet or so. And this jump, which was your last jump of the day, which was probably closer to about 37 feet. These are from 10 steps. First thing I want you to realize is how much the distance makes a difference. This is your second to last step and you can see that you've got probably about half of a foot, two-thirds of a foot difference in how far away from the board. This is not the takeoff board, mind you. This is your second to last step. As you move forward into the last step, that's going to affect how much you're on top of the takeoff. So this is a little bit bigger reach than this as you're coming into the board at contact. You're just off the back edge of the board here with a pretty straight knee. On here, you're in the middle of the board and your knees a little your foot is a little bit closer. So look at the distance of the foot to the hips and you can see you're a little bit closer on the left side than you are on the right. Generally whenever you're on that back edge of the board you're going to be reaching a little bit. As you move off we'll look at how the displacement looks as you take off. So at toe off I think you can see that there's a big difference between the displacement here and the displacement here. This looks a lot more vertical. This looks like it's moving forward a little bit more. Just look at the angle of the takeoff leg and I think that that tells you everything you need to know. And then like I told you in practice, generally you're going to see the hop landing look a lot like the hop takeoff position. So you can see already we've got a little bit more extension of the shin on the front side than on the other jump. And at contact, this is clearly closer to the hips with a little bit more knee bend than this is. Okay, so again, you got a little bit reachier, a little bit straighter knee, whereas this one has a little bit more play, just a little bit more bend in the knee, a little bit closer to the hips, and less what are we talking about here? We're talking about less braking forces back to stop you and slow down your momentum coming into the next phase. The swing is pretty good on both. You do a nice job. You're always pretty good at getting back up in the air, so you don't have really a problem changing that angle and setting up that step phase. So the issue is not about getting back up in the air and creating a step phase. The issue is how much momentum do you have going into the step phase that's going to allow you to get the distance out of basically the same angle jump. Remember, it's height of the takeoff, speed at the takeoff, angle at the takeoff. The angle, the height are exactly the same. It's simply difference of momentum or speed into the takeoff that changes the distance of this step phase. So here's where you land on the jump that went about 40 relative to the pit and let's see where you land on the other one so not very different hard to say exactly where you are I would say looking at just this little mark right here If I can be an investigator for a second, you're a little bit closer. You're clearly closer here than you are here. But moving off of it, again, good low swing coming through. Low swing here, low swing here. Displacement seems a little bit better here again. You just seem to have more motion to get yourself out more. You notice you can keep this knee bent. You're not kind of reaching the leg out at the toe off here. The 
Similar landing positions. Both of them could be a much better extension at the contact, but I wouldn't say there was a big difference in the extension here from one to the other. So there wasn't much difference there. Not much difference as you finish. So really, what did this all come down to? It all comes down to the hop takeoff. Getting your distance right so that that hop takeoff can be closer to your hips and you can maintain more momentum.